Worcester High School. Today we're here to talk about the relaunch of the previously labeled library. Uh, currently we're going to be calling it the Innovative Learning Center. On top of the Innovative Learning Center, the high school has gone through a tremendous amount of construction within the past year. We've seen our locker room expanded and updated, our weight room added, hallways redesigned, all of our windows have been replaced, it is truly a 21st century school. This school um, will enable our students to learn uh, to think critically in the coming years, to expand with an incoming and growing population, uh, to be comfortable for students to learn uh, at the high level that we expect them to learn at. This is being uh, taped in our new Innovation Learning Center which is the flagship of the construction uh, activities that occurred here at Brewster High School. Uh, as you know, this is about a, a two-year, you know, 18-month project uh, that involved other um, uh, spaces in the high school that were renovated. But this one is, as I mentioned, the flagship because it really does embody all that we believe about the experience that children should have to uh, equip them and prepare them to function in uh, this innovation-driven er era that's so much about collaboration. It's so much about working flexibly and adaptably in different environments and being able to do that independently and flexibly. So this, this space really does embody all of what we believe uh, it should be a critical experience for children to have in our district uh, well before they leave here. So this is sort of like a warm-up for life, work, and learning in the 21st century. This technology center is um really great because it represents the fact that our school is progressing and it's catering more to the students' needs. And um, it's awesome that students are encouraged to work collectively in groups and group discussions, but also they can study independently. We're very excited about the redesign of the space and how it will help facilitate collaboration and learning for our students at Brewster High School. Some of the highlights of this area are multiple seating options, a newly redesigned uh, circulation desk, consolidated bookshelves, a genius bar, a presentation room, and breakout rooms with flexible partitions which allow students to participate in small group uh, meetings and collaboration. There's just lots of space here to, for students uh, and for faculty to come here and to use this space to, to really do the kind of work and learning that is going to prepare them for this innovation-driven era. And we're just so excited that our community and our Board of Education supported the bond that is responsible for this occurring. So this is very much a space about um, that celebrates uh, what we believe all of our students should be exposed to uh, in the Brewster Central School District. I think it's nice to have a space to work. Like when you have a free period, you're not just sitting in the cafeteria. You can go somewhere to get big projects done and do and maximize your school day. Well, the Innovative Learning Center is a, t a terrific resource for our students, and you can see how wonderful uh, it looks. The functionality of this of this area, though, is important for our students. Uh, for one thing, the Wi-Fi coverage here. Uh, we have very dense Wi-Fi coverage. Uh, stu some students bring their own laptops or tablets, many bring their own phones, and they're able to use those digital resources here. We also uh, will we'll have a one-to-one -one, uh, Chromebook to student uh, ratio, so students will be able to come here and use those school-sponsored resources as well. For larger group instruction, we have um, one large group instruction room which has an interactive uh, flat screen large TV, and it's, it's an interesting setup because the students can use their Chromebooks, their telephone, uh, tablet, uh, any device, and connect directly to the TV. So, for example, if a teacher wants a student to share something that they're doing on a device or share some student work, uh, that's just uh, broadcast right on the TV. And in fact, uh, they can call up three or four students' work at the same time to compare and contrast or, or showcase different work. Uh, so when we look at student-centered projects and, and students presenting to an authentic audience, uh, this lends itself to a, a terrific opportunity. We also have rooms that are smaller breakout rooms for gr groups of students to work on projects together. Uh, there, are, um, there are whiteboards, traditional graffiti walls, if you will, where students can use that to brainstorm. Uh, some of the rooms have small uh, projection units, very small projection units. If students want to uh, connect a, a uh, Chromebook or other device and, and use that, 
Um, so it's an exciting, it's an exciting place to be. Uh, it lends itself to creativity. It lends itself to student uh, engagement and, and, and student collaboration. I think the new library is really good because compared to the old library, when you're at a table and you had to like worry about people around you or taking up too much space to study, in the new library, you can like isolate yourself so you can have the maximum like study time and like have the greatest benefits for your education and like your academic success. And I think that's really the entire goal of the new library, your greatest academic success. In the athletic department, for the Brewster Central School District, through this construction bond, we have had several positive additions, and I'd like to talk to you about them now. Uh, the first thing that we've had happen is, you know, not in any particular importance order, is the improvements to our locker room facilities here at Brewster High Schools. Many of the locker room uh, pieces and lockers and the plumbing it was original back to the first construction of the building. So what we have in the locker room now is all new plumbing, uh, some different shower facilities for the females uh, and different plumbing facilities uh, upgrading the bathrooms but in particular we have locker upgrades which are very important we had a lot of uh, concerns by the community in the past about not having lockers that were big enough to hold a backpack so now we have lockers that are able to hold a backpack and they're all brand spanking new the, uh, the flooring is beautiful, beautiful epoxy finish, and we've had a lot of positive reviews on that. And uh, the lighting has improved, a lot more natural light in the locker room. So we're very pleased about uh, those upgrades. So that's number one in that locker room area. The number two thing that we've done in the locker room area is we have, uh, in accordance with New York State and North federal laws, we have created a non-conforming gender identity bathroom. So uh, that will be used by anyone who necessarily like to use that at the appropriate time and it's uh you know has lockers in the bathroom a private changing area a private bathroom so that's another positive addition and last but not least uh the weight room has gone uh has undergone some different transformations we've improved the lighting so there's all led lighting in there it's, it's beautiful for safety reasons we've upgraded the flooring it's a it's a rubber floor that's uh, from wall to wall that was fitted for the room so the traction in there is much safer and then the last thing we did was we moved our ice machine uh, from a position in the hallway and the, the trainer now has uh, better access to it uh, for supervision and sanitary reasons and we put a bathroom in the weight room for the, the uh, trainer to you know, be able to clean his hands after he works with people so those are pretty much the biggest upgrades we've had in the athletic facilities and we really thank the community and the board of education and everyone for their support so another piece of the project from our capital project was uh, generation, backup generation here at the high school. Keeps all of our critical systems online, as well as district-wide internet, telephones, and any other services we need, you know, for an emergency situation. Hi, I'm Kathy Ash. I'm the director of food service for the Brewster Central School District. Proud to show you our food service facility. Behind me is a our service line which has uh, uh, rolled gates to protect our service line when the cafeteria is being used for other facilities when my staff is not available. We have renovated the kitchen area, moved the three compartment sink from the kitchen and moved it to a separate wear washing location where we now have a mechanical dish machine as well as wear washing giving us more space in the kitchen for food preparation. We hope you enjoyed the highlights of our innovative learning center and all the construction that has gone on in high school for the past year. We'd like to thank the community for all of their support in all of our endeavors. We'd also like to thank administration, district office, faculty and staff who've worked numerous hours to make this a success. Thank you. In addition to the projects uh, that are here in Brewster High School, there are other projects that I want to thank the taxpayers for and the Board of Education, which are, uh, as you know, uh, an extensive renovation to our JFK Elementary School, which is our oldest building in the district, as well as a new extension in the CV Star 
uh, intermediate school, and then uh, in addition, uh, other work on fields as well as uh, work at our Brewster uh, administrative building. So it's a pretty extensive project, and uh, there's been a lot of really great collaboration and work, and I want to thank our buildings and grounds uh, and our custodial staff, um, namely Andy Bates and Kenny Wench, as well as uh, Victor Carlson, who has been instrumental as our business official managing all the complexities of this. Lots of cooperative staff members throughout the district and our parents, but most, again, importantly, our taxpayers. Without your generosity, we, we would not be able to have these uh, innovative spaces and renovated spaces to celebrate what we believe our children should experience as learners in our district.